interesting. I don't want to throw cold water on an interesting set of clinical experimental results. But in my mind, this is not a thing that should have made national, let alone international headlines. Dr. Robert Gallo founded and directs the Institute of Human Virology at the University of Maryland School of Medicine. He knows HIV. In 1984, he co-discovered HIV is the cause of AIDS. Fast forward to 2022, we asked him about Wednesday's news that a group of American researchers has possibly cured HIV in a woman using cord blood. I liked one of Dr. Bryson's comments, one of the co-authors, who said, I don't say it's even a cure, I say it's a remission. That was very cautious. And I, I, I bet if he controlled how this went out, it would have it would have been a little different. But once you hear that word, and they use that word cure, which I find problematic. The U.S. woman was diagnosed with leukemia four years after an HIV diagnosis. The high-dose chemotherapy destroyed her blood cells. She underwent two stem cell transplants, the most recent involving umbilical cord blood. The blood had a mutation that makes cells resistant to HIV infection. Dr. Gallo says this is not a treatment that non-cancerous people with HIV are going to be using. Of what good is this going to do the 37 million people who are infected with HIV? Nothing. Still, he says there is a takeaway. It's not new, but it's unusual. And it adds to the evidence that this approach can lead to HIV strong repression, if not complete wipeout. And you'd like to learn from it to imitate it by something that is practical. Lisa Robinson, WBAL TV 11 News.